It takes a lot to create a quilt from cutting the pattern, ironing the seams and sewing it shut. There's a lot to put it all together. As Mal Meyer reports from Bemidji in this week's In Focus, one group of quilters is bringing in one more component, the element of charity. The Headwaters Quilt Guild is busy putting together material kits before its 20th anniversary show and exhibit. We're going to be having hands-on sewing opportunities for those visiting the quilt show. Any quilts made during the two-day event will be staying in the Bemidji area with active and retired military members. It's very important to support our, our troops. They go through a lot for us so that we can freely do what we want to do. Since 2015, they've been working with the organization Quilts of Valor. The organization provides some guidelines about shape, size, and pattern. But since this is for military members... We just kind of tend to stick with the red, white, and blue, I guess. <laughs> on one occasion, they've given to veterans staying in Gold Pine, an assisted living home in Bemidji. It was so touching to give these people quilts. They were so appreciative. Any members of the guild with active duty or veteran service members in their family can also give them one of the quilts. And sometimes, guild members are surprised with quilts of their own. We had patients who'd been in the Bataan Death March. Pat Purcell served as a nurse for the Army Reserves during Operation Desert Storm. Quite humble, Purcell thought that after all the injuries she had seen, her contributions weren't the same. I was totally taken by surprise uh, when the gals gave me the quilt because I didn't think I'd done anything spectacular. Ruth Dockin served in the Air Force during the Vietnam War. She was happy to see the guild use their talent as a tribute to our veterans. The fact that this guild went to the trouble to make those of us who are veterans a quilt of valor to present to us was just awesome. It was overwhelming to me. Anyone interested in helping create a quilt can do so by attending their show held on July 14th and 15th at the Evangelical Covenant Church in Bemidji. With this week's In Focus in Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.